Okay guys, so I've got the fat bob fired up because today is a Tuesday. I don't know what the date is, 20, 22nd, something like that. I'll have to check later. Of July 2021. And because it's Tuesday, I thought I'd take a ride over the two wheel Tuesday. It's uh, Old Buckingham near Attleborough. Been there a couple of times before. We're going to go over to Beckles first and meet Topbox Gav. And as you can see, I've uh, connected the phone up to the FPV fuel pack and I've got it showing the speedo, uh, temperature, something to do with spark. This will be the gear indicator once you get moving. And this is how many miles the bike is done. Yeah. Right then. Let's get going. I think the last time I went out on this bike, I went over to Old Buckingham to the Harley Day, so I haven't been on it for a little while. nice to get the bike home. I don't know what we're going to see today over there, whether there'll be many bikes over there or not, I'm not sure. But like I say, just nice to get a little ride out. Yeah, I ain't been up to much, not with a bike anyway. Um, I was going to go out at the weekend, but it looks like it's going to be raining anyway. I wanted to go to... Full Throttle Thursday, which is at the Grange Caster, but I might go there next week. This week, going to be a bit busy one of my boys is moving house on Thursday I said I'd pop round and give him a hand so we will see so I'll have this little ride over there and just chat about general stuff on the way I suppose as you can see this is the way I normally go to work. Those of you who follow my other channel, Phoebe de Morris Minor, you will know. I quite often do a little video of the right drive to work. Yeah, so I connected the FP3 to me phone today as I spoke about it before that you could see your speed without looking down at this dial which could be quite handy because that's one of the things what some people say is annoying about this particular Harley is that you have to glance down to see how fast you're going and stuff but that's not that bad obviously but with this you could see it an instant I thought I'd give that a go there's the gear selector see I'm in gear 2 at the minute Whoops. we'll just have a little ride around this back way I see they've brought out a new Harley, a new Sportster. What do you reckon of that then, guys? First glance, I thought it's quite similar to this Fatball. 
Well, I guess most of the similarities is the square headlight. There's probably more to it. Like, um, I think it's got fat tires by the looks. I haven't gone right into the specifications, but that's now going to be water killed. So that's a complete change. I did hear that they've used the same engine that's in the Pan America. And they've just altered it a bit for more low end torque. Some people say that will give this thing a run for its money. This 114. It probably will, and I hope it does for those who like that sort of bike. I guess they're aiming at people now, younger generation, to get in a Harley with a completely different look and different performance. So, if you're thinking of getting a sports bike because you think Harley's not up there with the horsepower and the revs, well, maybe people will think again now. Well, I definitely won't be changing this. Not for one of those anyway. This was the bike I wanted and I was lucky enough to get it. And I'm quite happy with it. It's got more than adequate power for what I need. I don't think you can always hear it so well on the camera as you can riding the bike, but that's not quiet really. It's not obnoxiously loud, especially when it's ticking over, but when you give it some, that does a nice sound. Well, it does in my opinion. If look across the water here, you can see two people sitting outside the pub. Well, I can, I don't know if you can. See the umbrellas. Lovely, eh? Yeah, as I was saying, some people are saying one of the drawbacks to this bike is where they put that speedo but I think the idea was keep the front clear so with that on my phone now well it's just so easy to see it isn't it Still some people about a bit courteous. Trans Am. Yeah, I'm meeting Gav um, at Beckles service station, been there a few times. Uh, 5.30ish actually I think he said he's leaving his at 5.30 so got plenty of time I weren't sure how much fuel I had in this looks like I got just under half a tank so I might as well fill it up but you can't please everyone if I do a video say I've gone to two wheel Tuesday and I do leaving and I do arriving I didn't get people say oh I wanted to see the ride and then if I say I'm going to two wheel Tuesday some people will say well I took over an hour before you even go anywhere I wanted to see just the what was there so 
Like I say, you can always jump forward, can't you? But I think if a video is just as long, people are more or less likely to look at it. But that I ain't too bothered, that's up to you. Right, got to watch your speed along here, boy. It's only 30. I'll talk about this um, auto turn on this. Um, I was thinking of doing an auto turn, and then the other day when I went out on it, well, when I came over here actually, the bike was running so well with this tune, with this tune, I thought, do I need to do an auto turn? Should I just leave it? Because they're supposed to be pretty close to what you need. But now it's just backfired, I'm thinking maybe I should auto turn it. I might just do it soon anyway, we will see. That's a beautiful evening. The sun is shining as you can see. That's better, getting a little bit of a breeze now. That's been quite warm again today. Snow's starting to cool down a bit anyway as it gets into the evening. seemed to be popping a little bit today but it wasn't before So maybe I should run an auto turn on it. I'm going to put a roundabout in here now, see it's a long time since I've been over here. I 
obviously eventually that will go through there somewhere but at the moment completely different here they've revamped the McDonald's looks like that they're now putting some tarmac down So we'll stick some fuel in it. There's top box spike. Yes, it should be a nice little ride over to there. Do you know the way? Go there, straight through, roundabout, turn up, head for Alborough. Right, so away we go, obviously we're going to go Beckles Bypass to Bungie, to Halston, to Dis, and then up towards Attleboro. Which should take us out. where we want to be. I seem strange being out Tuesday night. It's usually um, Firstly, if we go out on a, on a week evening, now this will make a change. I can't remember whether Top Box has been over here or not. I know he didn't come over here with us the other day. I'm not sure if he's been over before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's been over on the Aprilla when uh, Craig came with us on his bandit. He's a good boy, Craig.
I think Gav's um, Sportster 883 sounds quite nice to be fair. Two-wheel Tuesday's not far now. And we'll see how many people are here. There's a sign for old Buckingham. Suit me there at the auction flow.
Oh, it looks like there's quite a few bikes left. Well there we are, look a few bikes here don't they? We'll have a little walk around, see what's here. Well we'll have a quick walk around, there's absolutely loads of bikes to look at. Fat Bob.
look at this side car, look. Cool.